Hey guys, it's Drew with Because Jitsu. We're going to go over a guard today that is one of my favorite guards to use. It's a very simple one and it focuses on one of their legs and it's going to be the shin on shin guard. The thing I like about this guard is that it sets you up in a way that you're very close to underneath their base so it makes it very easy to play around with their base. We'll go into the different control aspects from here and give you a couple options to play around with. So, to enter the shin on shin, usually it's going to be from a neutral position where I'm already seated, in a seated guard position. I'm going to find the closest leg, which will always be their forward leg, and cut behind it, just right behind the knee. And then pull myself with this mirrored leg, shin first against their shin, thus the name. Like so, once I make this connection, I want to make sure I go deep on this arm and hug their shin tight to my body. I don't want to be hanging out right here. All this space in between is not enough connection. They've got too many options to disengage, to you know, fool around with this guard and untie it. I want to get tight like this. So now I'm basically sitting like a rock over top of his foot and very close to his shadow where he's going to be able to get played with as far as his balance is concerned. Now there are about, I would say, three different good options for grips from here. This is going to be your gripping hand, okay? the one that you are wrapping around with here. Always being sure that you're not leaving your neck up like this for them to choke, Set, start setting up collars, guillotines, we keep it in tight like that. This hand now is going to get fed with this one. It's either going to be this hand here, by the cuff, to the belt, or the near arm right here. I'm going to make that connection here so that now, whichever one of these things I'm pulling on is going to be tied in between their legs. It A, breaks their posture, B, cements me in place here with some tension, and C, it's going to, you'll see in this first technique, uh, block them from stopping the sweep. So for the first sweep we're going to go over from here, I'm going to enter in, get deep, protecting my neck, grab the near arm, and feed it cuff first to my hand here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to drag them to the ground. I'm actually just going to roll to my back. It's very simple, okay? I don't need to be pulling their weight. They're going to come with me because I'm attached to them. But the important part is I'm blocking this arm from being able to base out because I'm going to try to put this shoulder to the ground, which is going to force basically, hopefully a shoulder roll. If they really aren't expecting it, maybe a face plant. So my partner thankfully is expecting it. I'm going to roll back and lift that shin and he's going to roll. I want to come up and prepare to fight from open guard. What I don't want to do is come up lazily like this and end up falling into a trauma. So our second option we're going to go over has to do when our partner is trying to take their weight away from us. Okay, that last one we went over works extra well when we get here and they're leaning into us. They're really putting that backwards pressure. That's great because that's the direction we're going anyways. We get our grip, block their arm, and away you go. This time, we're here, we're starting to set up our grips, and they're keeping their weight away. Yeah, that's right. They're basically like making sure that it's, I can't drag them backwards, which is smart to an extent, but we're going to take advantage of this by forcing them back the direction that they're pulling. All we have to do here, keeping our chin down again until we're safe, bring this free hand up to the lapel, and I'm going to step out with this one so I can stand and spear like this. So from a different angle, I'm going to get that shin on shin. He's starting to bring his weight back. So I'm going to bring this one up to the lapel as I bring this leg back so I can stand spearing with my arm and picking this into a single leg. Right here. There are a variety of different things you can do from shin on shin. I would suggest playing around with this one while you're rolling. Uh, it's a very easy guard to enter into, and you'll find once you get there that you really have control over their base with that forward leg. So I hope you like it uh, as much as I do. I play this one a lot, and let me know what you think. If you've got any other questions or comments, drop them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.